I'm gonna attempt to make meatloaf tonight. Yay! I'm first gonna chop my onion. I already peeled it. It's a homegrown onion from our backyard. Yeah! Um, so one chopped onion first. What I do to not cry when I'm chopping the onion is this. I kind of go around it. The root. I don't cut into it. So that's what my mama said. Don't cut the root. And you won't cry. And your eyes won't burn. The rice won't start feeling. Is I do that? Oh god, here it goes. Pop her out of there. Ta-da! Okay, so I had grounded up the onions. And see, no tears, no burn. I guess now you have to put in some meat. Ground beef. Mmm, brain. They said um, a pound and a half, so I'm guessing this is what that is. So. After you do that, I guess you add the onions in. Just very easily slide it off there. So let me put you up to basis. I used one chopped onion, one and a half pound of ground beef, one egg. Look at, watch this egg action right here. One hander. Oh yeah. Yeah. One cup of breadcrumbs. Let's see if I have enough, which I probably don't. Okay. Okay. So I need more. I'm gonna put more breadcrumbs in. Oh. but it'll work. So dump it in. Mmm. All right, so a cup of milk. Okay. So if you can see this, woohoo, good for you. Now, to mix it up. Rawr. Oh my god, this is so cold. So there you have the mixed meat. Um, I guess next I'm gonna do the the other bowl stuff, like the toppings, I guess. Oh, and I gotta preheat my oven to 350. Oh, I'm so good at this. Okay, so in the other bowl, you're gonna put a third cup of ketchup. Let's see how well this works. Don't forget to shake your ketchup for the good consistency. Yeah. Okay. Now, squirt. That actually filled up pretty fast. Hmm. A little bit more. There we go. So, a cup of ket, a third cup of ketchup or more. Get that right in there. Okay, so since I don't have brown sugar, I'm gonna try regular sugar. Okay? It doesn't say you can use that, but what's the worst that's gonna happen, you know? Why can't I add a little creativity to this cooking project? Let's see. So, two tablespoons 
of brown sugar. Two tablespoons of prepared mustard. I don't know what prepared mustard is. I'm guessing it's just regular hot dog mustard. Remember, shake up the condiments to get a good consistency. Thing of mustard. This looks so gross. And two. I think that should be good. Maybe a little more. There we go. I think that's it. And then I just stir it all up. Mix it up, mix it up, and mix it up, mixture of ketchup, mustard, sugar. Oh, that looks disgusting. I hope it comes out good. I'm not going to taste it for you, though. That's for sure. So there's the finished mixture stuff. Mm -hmm. Now they say to take a 6x9, but I don't have that. So they said instead, if you don't have that, just make it into a loaf. So here we go. Remember, lightly grease. I'm molding. Now that it's all molded into a nice pretty loaf, poke holes in it. No, I'm kidding. Then you just take the mixture that you stirred with the ketchup and mustard. Just pour the baby on there. I should do it this way so you can see it. Just pour it all on there. that's good. And how I'm just gonna use my hand and just cover it. Cover it from rim to rim. Mmm yeah. Look at that baby. <laughs> okay, so there's the finished pre-finished product. Now you just stick her in the oven. And then, if you forget a pan that's in the oven already, just take it out with something like an oven mitt to the oven. And then you wait one hour and it will be done. Ah, so I'll be back with you. All right then, goodbye. So it's turning out pretty good. Mmm.